Tough question indeed. I spoke with Ruben Lombardo about protecting history. He's a preservation expert with Spectra Company, which specializes in historic restorations. If you look around the world and you look at all the all the interesting monuments and sites that that you know people understand are are a part of our global transculture and uh, and our global community and that they need to be protected those are the sites that that people are coming to visit those are the sites that 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 people are in love with and and by preserving those it, you know hand in hand it goes with development not against it you have the preserved site and adjacent to it then you you, you have hotels you have restaurants you have you, you know a, a whole series of, of other economic opportunities and, and Ruben for someone who devotes themselves to this sort of work I want to get your thoughts on, on challenges with violent conflicts and protecting landmarks uh, just this week of course we had the case in The Hague uh, with the case in, in Timbuktu we've seen it in Palmyra and Syria these these historic landmarks uh, being defaced or destroyed also in Afghanistan for someone who devotes their career to this sort of thing uh, how does it make you feel and what are your thoughts about that when I see these monuments being defaced and, and destroyed, it, it, it hurts me inside. I mean, it, it, it you know, it, there are people that are uneducated and, and, and not forward thinkers. And, you know, the question is, what can we do about it? And, and unfortunately, I don't have the answers. We're so future driven uh, in as, as a society now with all these uh, devices coming out and everybody thinking about the future. Um, but the past is so important, preserving it is so important. Now, talk to us a little bit about that. Well, knowing where we came from and, and you know, having a, a legacy of that in our monuments, in our buildings, to, to really underlie the, the importance of, of knowing our history, that's the most important thing. If we don't have that foundation, that proper foundation, we, you know, we, we can't go forward. And, and these historic buildings, they, they, they show us a sense of time of, of, of where we come from and, and where we've been. They're interesting to look at, exciting because of who's been there and what's happened there. Without that, all we have is, is what's happening now. And that, that's, you know, that, that's not where we need to be looking. We need to be looking at the past so we, can, we don't make you know, similar mistakes and we, we, uh, we move forward as a society but with an understanding of, of the foundation. And these landmarks, uh, so important, so visible, the Great Wall, Statue of Liberty, the Egyptian pyramids, um, it, it, there needs to be a commitment, though, in terms of maintenance uh, over all these years. It, they do deteriorate. They do deteriorate, and, and the biggest problem is figuring out who's going to make that commitment. You know, the, the UN has, has, you know, stepped forth to, to you know, do what they can and, and have these, these sites listed as, you know, as monuments and, and, you know, as a protected site. But who's going to do the maintenance? And are these people that are doing the maintenance, are they going to cause more damage or are they going to do things the right way?